Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Richard Stevenson and I'm the Director of Education at Stevenson Dental Solutions. I'm also Emeritus Professor of Clinical Dentistry at UCLA. And this is our teaching center where we conduct many hands-on courses all year long. Hey now, before we get started, I'd like to make a brief introduction about a product that I personally use to manage my practice. It's called CareStack. CareStack is an all-in-one cloud-based platform designed for the U.S. dentist that wants to run and manage their business without the need for multiple software subscriptions to put pressure on your bottom line. CareStack provides all of this functionality to run the contemporary dental practice in one cloud-based solution. If you'd like to learn more, scan this QR code and book a brief demo with one of their specialists. Thanks, CareStack, for sponsoring this channel. And today we're going to perform the single shade, no matrix, Typonaut class 4. And the whole thing starts with uh, the placement of a plastic mylar strip with a wedge, a wooden wedge preferably, securing the strip so that the strip is going to be tight up against the tooth of the cervical area and also allows it to extend out to the adjacent tooth. The finger here will be used to create the shell. So this is a non-shell technique and I'm making this video because many students tell me that they need to learn how to do this no shell technique on dental exams and this is just a, a way of doing that. So use whatever shade you want and apply it in a few increments. Curve the matrix around a little bit, light cure through that and then add a little bit more composite if you need to uh, to over contour it on purpose. And then we're going to do length thickness, line angles, and then microanatomy. And that's the approach that we want to do before we start the polishing phase. You can identify the line angles and some of the boundaries by just using a pencil and highlighting where those facial incisal and lingual incisal line angles are. And this helps you to take care of thickness after you've got the length worked out. I'm using a coarse disc from OptiDisc. This is a disc made by Kerr and it has a, a pretty nice silicon carbide abrasive that allows you to make pretty rapid adjustments and then you follow that through its color scheme. Uh, if you want to use a blade I prefer using the 12 to remove any excess composite that may have gone beyond the matrix and then if you're going to use some finishing and polishing nice to use a finishing strip with a wedge in place. Marking line angles is pretty straightforward um, in the, these little depressions and you wouldn't just mimic the adjacent tooth because the whole object here is to create symmetry between the two sides. And we're going to continue to use the discs to create the uh, anatomy, the line angles, and then we're going to need to go into some of the microanatomy after that. It's all about, you know, the negative spaces as much as it is about the positive spaces. So depressions and these minor irregularities you see on the surface will help to create the kind of optical effects that you're looking for. So pretty straightforward, but it can take some time. So take your time. Get your line angles correct, get your embrasures correct, and then worry about the surface texture and the microanatomy as you get more competent in this particular procedure. The goal is to make it symmetrical. I think we did a pretty good job today. I wish you all the best in your pursuits on dental boards, etc. Take care.